The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good day, everyone, and welcome to weekly trading recap, uh, holiday trading mode still. And, well, uh, I expect price to be normal uh, starting from uh, possibly uh, this uh, to the, today's uh, Asian session. So it's uh, still uh, the price is a bit of rangy. There was a big drop in equities today. And because of that, we saw some unusual uh, negative uh, correlation between some of, of the pairs that move uh, posit- in a positive correlation and vice versa. For example, uh, usually dollar yen and euro dollar move uh, in the opposite ways. Today, they move in a very similar way. And it's basically, uh, definitely, this is holiday trading mode yet. And uh, I think the price should be should definitely stabilize uh, tomorrow. So before we begin, as always, uh, standard risk disclaimer explaining that CFD and Forex are leveraged products and uh, can result in losses that exceed your deposits. Uh, so those are not suitable for everyone. Uh, this presentation and video is for information educational purposes only. And uh, whatever you see here is my personal opinion only and my personal trading ideas. This video is not part of the .co.uk website, but the globalnews.com website. Please read the full risk disclosure on this web address. Why do we trade our markets? UK LTD, excellent index offerings, audit execution, and of course, selectable leverage of up to 1 to 500. We use MT4 and MT5 Supreme Edition to empower our trading decisions. And patience is the key to trading success and knowing uh, when to trade, how to trade with, and of course, uh, which trades to skip. Rules and setups for uh, our uh, trading session. Give price a breathing room. So enter in the zone. It's usually the POC zone. Uh, Forex zone is within, within 15 pips of the predicted level. And of course, if you agree with my idea, you can also enter. Scaling in is optional because you do your own trade and money management. For commodities and equities, try to watch the zone around the level because it's a little bit different, of course, from Forex trading. And usually numbers are different, but watch the zone around the level that is posted. Recommended risk is 0.5 to 2% per trade. Maximum is 5% for all trades. But of course, uh, if you trade during holiday session, I uh, always suggest half of risk. So instead of, let's say, taking uh, 2% per trade, you can take 1% per trade. Or if you are a conservative trader, of course, it depends on your risk appetite and your account size. Oh, but the one thing is for certain, always try to uh, limit your risk uh, during uh, holiday trading. It's important. Okay. Uh, now, of course... Uh, Always add a spread to your stop loss and always respect your stop loss. Even if you trade via ECN account, try to add 2 to 5 pips depending on the pair traded. Always uh, add 2 more pips just to cover for commission. So let's say uh, usually I add in between 3 and 8 pips depending which pair I trade. Uh, We take only one position per listed pair, so it's either positional or alternative trade. Uh, So whichever setup hits first. First touch of the zone is the most profitable, and that is why we are focused on the first touch. Positional trades are called trend trades, and alternative trades are called counter-trend trades. Breakout trades and scalp trade levels can be traded independently of any position. Uh, For Forex market, uh, depending on time and volatility, we can use profit stop after 20 pips, but not less. For equities and commodities, try to protect your profits around important levels and try to use trading stop, especially if you like to trade uh, and you are profitable on intraday setups. Uh, These setups are valid for today, tomorrow, and sometimes the day after tomorrow. Uh, Of course, until Wednesday morning, because on Wednesday we have Wednesday live trading session. Pay attention to Twitter updates. Scalp trades should be done at or very close to important support resistance levels. And all those trades are calculated by historic levels and Camarilla. Add these levels to your system, pay attention to trend, so you might find other trend-based entries. And the term pips pool is the maximum available number of pips you could have got on these setups. 
this is the result for 26th of March. So uh, previous week result and uh, Euro dollar was the trade of the week. Uh, 170 possible pips on Euro dollar. Pound dollar was a loss, minus 40. Australian dollar was either plus 20 or minus 35, depending if you protected your trade or not. Dollar yen sell position was minus 40. Gold fractional 35 or 350. I mean, it depends how you count the pip count, but it was a good trade. DEX optional trade didn't qualify, but if it, uh, I mean, if it had been qualified for a trade, it would have been uh, maybe the best trade, the trade of the week. Uh, I will show you what happened. And total pips pool 55 to 110 on Forex and fractional 140 or 100, 405 or 460 on gold. It can be also 40 or 46, how you actually calculate it. And the trade of the week, again, it was, in my opinion, euro dollar. And this was euro dollar trade for the previous week. The price was ranging. Uh, I mean, it's, it's always the hardest to trade these ranges, especially when ranges are not... Uh, I mean, I usually uh, lose a trade if uh, there, has, there is a switch from a range to a trend. But uh, on Euro dollar uh, for a previous week, there wasn't a switch. And that was a very, very good thing because uh, we only had a ranging mode. And still, the Euro dollar is a little bit rangy, although uh, definitely this is a holiday trading mode and prices are not very clear because uh, uh, Euro, uh, I mean, we had a holiday today in, in European Union, so Euro was a holiday, Pound was a holiday, Australian dollar was a holiday, only US market and US market tanked heavily. As I say, it was a carnage on stocks today and it caused some very strange movements also uh, in Forex because markets are also uh, correlated, uh, stocks markets and Forex markets. So there was a big bit of, bit of move in stocks market. Uh, but, well, you know, it's like, uh, sometimes those moves are not very technical, especially when there is no one to defend those levels. And uh, because of that, we saw some unnatural moves uh, in uh, Forex market, like Euro, Dollar and Dollar Yen moving in the same direction, but usually they are negative. Uh, okay, so uh, let's uh, continue. So Euro, Dollar, uh, it was, uh, no, uh, Euro, Dollar, uh, Robert was, uh, you see, just watch my chart. 24.76. The price came to 24.76. Okay. And then it started to drop here. Okay. So it was in the zone. What it means in the zone? Always follow what I say. Forex zone is within 15 pips. Okay. So 15 pips means 24.75, 25.05. Fifteen pips to the both sides. So this was in the zone, okay, and the price dropped. Definitely, it was a big drop, huge drop, even overshooting my predicted uh, target price. I mean, it, not by a huge extent, but still, it dropped heavily. Uh, buy trade was not initiated, of course, because we had a sell trade. So whenever we have a trade going on, unless it's a breakout or scalp trade, we take only either sell or buy. So this time we took a sell trade and you can see here, it was a pretty much uh, good trade. Uh, the tra uh, the pair, uh, euro dollar moved and uh, it hit uh, the target. A pound dollar was not that good because it was a big drop. Usually after a big drop, there should be some correction but unfortunately, the correction actually uh, happened here. Uh, after, you see how this level was actually strong because this was stop grabber. Be below 4090, we had stop grabber and this was stop grabber. And then the price spiked up almost 100 pips correction. So unfortunately, this trade was lost simply because a lot of traders placed their stops here. You see, they placed their stops here. We also had our stop here. And the price proceeded down, collecting all stops. 
and then it closed again above 4090. Very interesting how these levels are respected. Always, I always find it very, very interesting to see how these levels that I post here are are, <laughs> are followed. I mean, even stop grabbers are followed heavily. So here you see the price definitely spike to the upside, making some well, I can say interesting move of 100 pips correction before it dropped. But it could have been sold only if it had gone like only, only uh, 20 more pips to the upside. We could have sold it there because you see sell was 40 to 80. It was not that close, but if it came to 40 to 60, 65, we could have sold it. But well, Australian dollar, depending if you used a trading stop or not, this uh, would have been either a loss or a win. Uh, exactly from uh, 77, from uh, 76.95, you see the price spiked, but it only came to 77, 17, 18. So you could have made maybe 25 pips. But you know, if you protected the trade, you would have stopped out. Probably you would have been stopped out for 20 pips. Positive 20 pips. If you hadn't protected your trade, probably this would have been a loss for you. Uh, dollar yen uh, is uh, was again. Uh, uh, the thing is, we had a sell on euro dollar that hit a target, but also a sell on a dollar yen was initiated here, shooting star. But then there was a big correction in stocks, and of course, dollar yen followed. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, before it went into small profit, it hit. Uh, I mean, it hit a stop loss, definitely, but it was countered by gold. Gold also was very, very good trade. Again, in the zone, uh, so you would have made some nice pips if you shorted. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yes, Gulet. Uh, yeah, I will. I will comment on your uh, comment. Yeah. Uh, this is basically gold, and gold was very, very good trade. And uh, again, if you shorted it, it was close to the zone. You had double top that could have been broken, so you could have made even your short here at the break of this candle. So this was also very, very nice trade. Unfortunately, uh, I, 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 I would love if the, if it had gone a little bit uh, higher because I plan to short this, but. I skipped it, but uh, definitely it was in the zone uh, because I didn't, I wasn't close to my computer and uh, I just couldn't follow with from my mobile phone. And by the time I, I, I took a second look, it already dropped. But well, it happens. Uh, yeah, before I actually uh, uh, present you new setups, few comments. Navin is asking, what does it mean when the pivot is near on top of H3 or L3? Uh, try to refresh your uh, chart, uh, Navin. Uh, what I usually do is, uh, for example, uh, this is what I do. If you see that something is like uh, not natural, you just try to switch between time frames, and you will see that pivot point is actually uh, somewhere in between. Okay. So let me show you the pivot point here. Uh, okay. Uh, pivot point will be when I actually enter it. Okay. So just give me a few seconds. You see, pivot point now is in between here. Usually, it, it should be in between weekly L3, weekly H3, and on daily time frame, if you follow it, it should be in between uh, daily H3 and daily L3. You see, like this. Yeah, you just switch between time frames and allow for the indicator to refresh. And usually it will print out the level like this. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, just just refresh it. It should show you correct levels. Uh, also, the question Gulad is saying, I noticed Thursday a lot of profit taking quarter end and month end. Yes, uh, definitely. Uh, I was also stopped out on few trades uh, just because of this uh, holiday and uh, quarter and end month uh, profit taking. And I definitely. Uh, we'll not make any any trades on quarter end and I can, I mean month end is, is okay but quarter end is definitely price is uh, going in totally opposite direction uh, of the trend and 
I don't like I would I will not trade myself a, a quarter and a profit taking. We just it's just one single day of trading, so we will not lose anything. So let's move now with uh, euro dollar, and later we will answer all of your questions. Euro dollar is ranging still, guys. Uh, I am uh, still have a. I mean, I can tell you, I have a small uh, uh, long trade uh, on my other account on MT5, and uh, I was very, very close to being stopped out. Only one pip. Uh, my uh, stop loss is 29, 22.79 uh, on that trade. So I still don't know if I will be stopped out or not, but definitely uh, euro dollar is not behaving as I want it to be because of this. Uh, this is for me definitely as I uh, explained in the analysis, this is still holiday trading mode. But fortunately, fortunately, uh, I took a trade only with half of a risk. So if I lose uh, 35 pips, uh, it will be like uh, if I lose, let's say, only uh, 17, 18 normal pips. Because I always trade during holiday trading mode. I always, always trade with half of a risk. I simply don't care. Uh, I don't care about uh, normal risk. Uh, just if you want to trade, you need to go with half of a risk. That is my advice to you guys. Definitely my advice to you. Trade it with a normal risk, uh, with a half of a risk. Uh, because if you do it with a, with a um, normal risk, the chance is you might lose your uh, profits, what you actually made during previous months. So that is, I really like to trade during uh, uh, during holidays only with half of a risk. Okay, just let me uh, show you the template, and then I will actually move my screen. Uh, okay, you see, guys, this is what I don't like. Uh, this is what I don't like uh, when uh, some patterns are not respected, and I know that. They are not respected because of bank uh, holidays, because of uh, all these things. There is no one to defend these levels. And uh, this is clear inverted head and shoulders. This is, uh, you see, if we take a deeper look, this is a left shoulder, this is head, this was the right shoulder here, and the price closed above daily H3, it closed above daily H4, so we should have seen a continuation move. And my uh, my thoughts, this drop actually followed only because of stocks. You see, the low was 22.82. My stop loss is 22.79. So uh, still uh, the level that I watch was I was watching was 22.85. I always had two to uh, in between. Uh, two and five pips of a spread. So uh, I'm still in this trade. I don't know what will happen, but uh, I don't like this. Definitely, I don't like this because this should have been respected. And now I will show you the reason uh, what happened today and why uh, some of the markets uh, haven't been, uh, actually haven't followed, haven't followed uh, what actually uh, should have happened. And uh, let me just show you. This was a big, big decline, guys. Uh, let me just just show you the screen. I definitely need to okay do it like this. And I always, I always uh, follow. Uh, Forex live, and you can see it here, guys. Uh, US stocks opening in the red, NASDAQ leads the declines, and this was a major drop. Amazon, Netflix, Twitter, Tesla, everything, everything was dropping. Some banks were doing well because US banks are not on holiday today. That is also surprising a little bit uh, to me because I, I was thinking that also. Banks are should be on holiday on Monday, but U.S. banks uh, are not on holiday, definitely. So, yeah, I mean, that was the reason for this uh, drop, guys. And uh, this is uh, completely, uh, completely out of the sink. 
Yes, I know, Navin, that U.S. banks are open, but in my opinion, uh, you know, if it, it if it is a if it is a holiday in Europe, and we have a holiday in Australia, in Australia, in uh, UK, then why the U.S. actually why the U.S. banks are not on holiday? So, in my opinion, this was strict uh, trading by the big banks because the trend is up. We had everything aligned that the price will go up. And they intentionally do it. They collect stops all the way down. Okay. And I think if 2260 is not broken to the downside, of course, we need to watch four hour time frame. If four hour, but the levels are the same 2260 is the level. If four hour candle uh, is not, uh, if four hour candle does not close below, 2260. Then I think euro dollar should go up. But if we see a daily or four hour candle close below weekly L3, then euro dollar is definitely going down. Sean is saying federal law is why banks are not closed today. Well, yeah, I, I didn't know that. I was also thinking that US should follow, uh, like, you know, if whole Europe is, if whole Europe is actually on holiday and if Australia, if, if Japan, uh, is having holiday well then you know you see Can canadian banks are also closed so it, it something is you know it's it, it's a little bit strange to me especially because you know canada actually neighbors us and a lot of things are you know similar between canada and us so if canadian banks are closed why then the us banks are open <laughs> Sean is saying it's it's because of US greed. Well, yeah, I mean, no, I mean, you know, it's like it's the federal law, I know, but definitely it's not like I was I was I was not I didn't know that uh all the banks will be open. I thought it was like still a mini holiday, but then again, it explains everything, guys. It definitely ex ex explains everything. <laughs> Ah uh, yeah, I'm I'm just laughing now uh, at your comments, guys. Yeah, they want to charge high interest rates someday if they could. Indeed, I mean, yeah, I, <laughs> funny comments. Yeah, guys, I mean, this is I, I need to show you. I mean, I have always a lot of very very uh, nice people here, and I I like when you make such comments. <laughs> I mean, it's like you know. It happens, and of course, you always need to follow uh, what Charles is telling you. And the only thing how you can protect is trade lower risk. It's simple as that. Trade lower risk, and you should be fine. That is at least how I do. I mean, low risk trading during holiday if I want to trade. Okay, now let's move uh, to setups. Euro dollar. As I say, I still have a position. But I don't know if my position will come in profit. If I'm in profit, good. If not, I will make one more position. Here, 22.65 with a stop loss of 22.20. TP, 24.20. Sell is 24.20. Stop loss is... Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I lost my screen. Stop loss is 24.50. 23.30 is TP. Okay, this is it. So this is what I'm watching at this point. Either a buy trade, if I'm stopped out, I, I still will make one more trade, of course, with half of a risk. Again, until uh, I think to tomorrow, uh, UK, uh, European Union, and uh, all other banks uh, actually will, uh, will be normal trading mode. There won't be any holidays, right? So... I think the price will stabilize, stabilize because banks will defend levels of support and resistance. During holiday trading, no one is defending it. And banks can easily, I mean, manipulate the price uh, uh, to do their bidding. So you saw the move on euro dollar was a, a nice upside during European trading and then. Stocks market crashed and uh, forex market followed euro dollar down, but strange dollar yen also down. Usually, the cash flow uh, makes a negative correlation between US stocks and dollar yen 
Uh, but now this time it was definitely in correlation. And it, as I say, it's also because of yen. Yen is a great gauge for risk on risk off, definitely. Now let me show you the screen here on euro dollar. As I say, if this level uh, stays strong, you see, I mean, do you see the same thing? This is still some sort of consolidation, but you see it, it's still from this point, it's bullish consolidation. Now, the, we have some sort of head and shoulders, but this should have gone at least here. Then I would say, okay, maybe it would have dropped from this point or at least towards weekly H3. But I, I didn't see that anything followed. It was a straight drop. And that happened, as I say, because of the reasons that I mentioned. So uh, as, I, as I see it here, if it drops here, it should have been it should be bought because this is the last level of defense last level of defense for, for bulls the price if it drops below this level will probably drop to monthly l3 my stop loss as i gave you is 2220 below this if it hits this level here so you see it then it, it can it can actually drop. It could test this level and then go straight up. So still there is, uh, for bulls, there is hope that euro dollar will proceed up, but only if it manages to stay above weekly guys level, weekly L3. Robert, I don't do waves. Uh, I'm a technical trader. Uh, Chris is actually doing wave analysis. I don't do waves personally. I only trade technical a price action so for me definitely i'm clear with this if it manages if the price manages to stay above weekly l3 it should go up if it drops even be below a monthly l3 and i think we will have a downtrend then 2420 is where i would make my profit and where i would sell it because this is the lever that, that I originally watched today. And I'm still watching this level because for me, this is a nice level for bulls to take profits and also for bears to at least try to sell into this level because we see a lot of sellers. Yes, Gulen, a lot of historical sellers here. You see, a lot of historical sellers. Near term history here. Also history, I mean, this is also near term, but we can say, you see, it's, let's say, historical selling here. Fake out selling. You see this up, down. This is a real price. This uh, dark cloud cover, you see, up, down. This is bearish. Shooting star, this is, well, this is indecision candle, but below this bearish. Then a form of pin bar. Then again, from this level, small shooting star here, but bearish, you see. For me, definitely, definitely, this was a nice move, a very, very nice move from this level to sell. And of course, for buying here, if it if it doesn't hit my stop loss, but it's it's, it's a little bit strange. I mean, the price has already made triple bottom on on four hour time frame. So, according to I mean to normal technical trading. When the price makes triple bottom, well, it should definitely go up. But you never know because still it's bank holiday. And still a lot of uh, institutional traders are not there to defend these levels. And banks know if they hit stop loss below this level, it will go even more to the downside. Let's see what will happen. Pound dollar, uptrend, 39.95, buy trade, stop, 39.60, TP, 41.40, sell, 41.50, stop, 41.80, TP, 40.95. GBP dollar, buy trade, 39.95. This is very interesting uh, also level. I am in the GBP dollar trade, I need to tell you, but uh, it already happened, so that is why you might join if you like. I will show you. Uh, I'm also uh, risking... Profits. Oh, I always try to risk my profits, especially because uh, for this account now it's not a big risk trade. But as I say, I have a lot of lot of entries here, and uh, yeah, I will tell you where I made the entry. Just uh, 
Okay, let me open it. It's empty five. Chart empty five, uh, guys. Empty five. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, different template here. Different template here. GBP dollar, guys. Uh, 40. Uh, I have a trade that was running on Friday, and I'm still long, guys, here. Uh, again, it depends on your risk size. 40.35, okay, to 40.45 was the POC zone. So it's still now in the POC zone. If you want to enter, you can join the trade, guys. Okay, so 40.35, 40.45, stop loss 39.95. If I, I want to see the price going at least towards 41.40, but even higher, 41.60, I will watch this level. So I'm long on uh, GBP dollar now, but you can join. Try to lower your risk, guys. If you are in, if you want to join the trade. Again, uh, a lot of lot of. This is indeed uh, the POC zone here, and again, I see a potential for a nice uh, move on. Uh, GBP dollar if the price stays if the price stays above the levels that I predict. So let me just show the screen again. I can use this MT5 for this. No problem. Uh you know guys, I am always clear with my setups, with my trades, with my wins, with my losses. I don't have anything too high. So this is it. Now, if I lose a trade, you might opt for 39.95 because my stop is it's 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 it it uh it will be placed. I mean, I don't know why I put it here. I will definitely uh move my stop loss a little bit lower. I don't know why it's it, it should be lower. Wait, let me just just correct the price here, guys. Uh before a stop loss is 39. 95 139.95 and add two to three pips. So 39.90. I will add five pips on this two pips of spread and two pips to cover. Okay, so 39.90. I will move the stop loss. Okay, and we'll manage my trades with also these entries here. Okay. Just give me a few seconds. Okay, now it's clear. Everything should be clear now. Yeah, guys, so follow this if you want. Again, if you opt to trade lower, you might opt for a trade lower. But I am bullish here, guys. Uh, at a time when I made the entry, four-hour time frame switched to bullish. One hour time frame was also bullish here, and I made my entry on 15 minute time frame. And this went up, but then it, the price dropped. Of course, uh, I was in profit initially, but I don't want to take only 20 pips. For this trade, I want to make more, guys. So let's see what will happen. I am already in my full half of a risk management, so I am not sure that. I would like to add, although if I do add a position here, I will uh, disobey my rule for uh, trading with half of risk, so I will not do it. So, as I say, you can join, but if you are not sure, then, well, you can skip the trade. Uh, now let's move to Australian dollar. Uh, it's ranging. You see 77.40 sell, 77.75 Stop loss, uh, 76.35 TP. Position buy, 76.35. Stop loss, 76 TP, 77.40. So uh, the Australian dollar is, let me actually change the screen to Australian dollar here. Yeah, you see Australian dollar could actually, we will go to four hour time frame. It's, as I say, still, in a form of ranging mode because of this. No clear up, no clear down. Up, down, up, down, up, down. It's bearish, 
but definitely ranging up down up down up down and you see here we have a higher low so what does it tell me it tells me that yes guys again it will be the rba interest rate decision overnight so only if you like to trade during that announcement you should trade it and you should do it again with half of a risk only if you want to trade it i personally will not trade it but i have the obligation to tell you which levels are important and which levels you can probably go for maybe before the official rba rate decision if you see some movement in the market so please take this advice and do not do not uh, trade with bigger risk if you actually do not uh, if you don't like to trade during uh, these types of announcement so only if you want to risk a little bit more i mean because it's a risky event and do it with a half of a risk that is my suggestion to you uh, what i would personally do if i traded it yes gulad i uh, yeah i would thank you for reminders but that's it definitely still if you see some maybe move before a trade 70 before the announcement 7635 could be a level to watch for because we already had it here in the history 7635 and again guys again uh, it should be noted that this price here you see there was a spike up from this zone and this zone is important now so 76 uh, 46 45 to 35 is the zone maybe it will go up but on a down move 77 40 is also level to watch for because it's a weekly h4 so watch for these two levels that i am posting here okay so watch for that guys let's see what will actually happen uh next thing is uh dollar yen let me switch to dollar yen dollar yen is again uh we have a potential sell 10650 stop loss 107 tp 10490 with alternative buy 10490 stop 10465 tp 10560 this is a dollar yen chart and dollar yen has the potential to go more to the upside because of this pattern but still i would only sold it here 4650 because this level should hold if the price is bearish uh, 107 shouldn't be shouldn't be uh, uh, broken because then definitely we would see a breakout of this inverted head and shoulders because of that the only way where i could sell this is here towards 10490 where we could initiate a buy trade you see this is the zone here a lot of buying here so either sell from here buy from there and final trade i didn't make today uh dex uh, or equity analysis because of big big move uh, on u.s stocks and uh you uh, european markets are still uh, on holidays so i don't know what dex will do so i'm skipping the dex analysis now gold is potential buy 3028 stop loss 1300 uh, uh yeah sorry uh, and yes definitely tp 1354 i need to say if you trade gold it's a commodity trade it now with half of a risk if you see the entry today or during the night alternative sell 3054 stop 3062 tp 3070 uh, and this is the gold chart the gold chart now is bullish and definitely if you go to one hour time frame uh you might see you might see actually a spike from the levels that could reject it or the price could bounce from the level this is it 1328 previous breakout retest zone it could drop here and go up for a sell trade gold is uh, 1354 
and this level is actually wait give me a few seconds it's here you can you can actually do it like this it's above daily h5 but if you go to four hour this is monthly pivot so from this spot there were a lot of selling i think gold could be sold from this level too so now if you have any questions guys do not hesitate to ask me uh i still can answer a few more questions if not then i will roll the slides again and uh, let's start the week with profits of course if you want to trade today as i say if you want to join my pound dollar trade do it with a half of a risk so it's that just stop loss is always the same let's say 40 pips but if you lose you will lose like normal 20 pips so that is how you trade it uh so euro dollar is this pound dollar is this australian dollar is this this is dollar yen and this is gold the question i have a word about esma adrian esma is pan-european regulator and they have the ability to decide about the leverage let's say and margins each three months this decision that they, that they made will be and is passed over to fca fca will as the main regulator for most of fca regulated brokers in the uk the fca will make their own announcement guys uh as things are standing at this point the leverage will drop but it's not everything is not a final decision now what will happen we will see in three months because this way how you trade it will still be uh, it will be allowed to trade for three more months until the the official is decision and the point is everything is fine but leverage will drop for retail traders for, for professional traders probably it will be announced and professional traders will need to prove that they are professional traders so they might have bigger leverage but it's still not final decision you need to wait guys for the final decision next three months everything will remain the same after then for retailers retail traders leverage will drop for professional traders it will be different again the basis for that is it, it will be done each three months so we don't know what will happen it won't be worse than that in next three months but maybe they will change something after the first three months when new rules are applied when first three months actually pass so we will see what will happen then again guys the fca is uk the biggest instance in the uk you know that uk is leaving european union so next year you know who knows what will happen next year maybe the fca will return everything uh on, on how the things were so we still don't know now this is just you know it it will happen but still there will be some possibilities again to trade with big leverage probably in my opinion this is not official everything is unofficial we will see what will happen robert it's not a problem to trade if you have a company in uk definitely don't worry everything is fine guys everything is fine there will be solutions read what I have to say, what we have to say, uh, and I will provide you with best possible solutions. Don't worry, guys. So this was set up. This this was everything that I had to show you today. I hope that we will start making pips also this week, and let's see what markets will give us. Thank you for listening to me, guys. Cheers and trade safe. Talk to you soon.